Hello students, I am Sundra from GK Jain School. Today we are going to discuss the fifth chapter, monetary economics. Fifth chapter we are discussing and today we are talking about inflation. What is inflation? See, inflation or deflation is a very, very, very bad thing in economic activities. In any economics activity, inflation or deflation will be a worst thing to discuss about. Why? Inflation is the consistent and appreciable rise in the general price level. So, what is inflation is, is nothing but, it is a rise in the general price. Price we have no, there will be always rise. The price level will go going up, 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 up and up again because it's not at all going to be down. Whatever may be the product, whether it's any car, whether it's any kind of food item, whether it's kind of any kind of vegetable, or whether it's kind of any kind of any other things. So, student, we are seeing that inflation. What is inflation? When there is a rise in any price, whether it's a price of any car, price of any TV, price of any refrigerator, price of any vegetable or fruits, anything. When there is a consistency, the price level will not at all come down. It will go up, 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 up. It's known as inflation. See, this inflation is not at all good for economy. Inflation is very, very bad essential for economy. Let's understand with the meaning. Inflation is a consistent. It will not have any kind of variation. It will be very consistent and appreciable rise. And the rise in price is so high. The rise in price is so high in the general price level. In the general price level is there no? In that general price level, the price level will be very high. Why the price is too high? Because of this imminence feature. Because of the, there is an extra demand in the price. See here, definition. Too much of money chasing the too few of goods. Too much of money chasing too few of goods. So there is in a business or any market, there is a, we have too much of money. But the chasing of product or chasing of goods is so less. For example, let's take example two years, 2008, 2015 and 2020. We have took three years, 2008, 2015 and 2020. In 2008, I have 1000 rupees. I have 1000 rupees. From this 1000 rupees, I have purchased many things. For example, I have purchased rice, I have purchased wheat, I have purchased masalas, I have purchased uh, different kind of things. In the 2015, same I have, there is a 1000 rupees. But now, I am unable to purchase everything. I will just purchase few things. The same 1000 I have in 2020, now I am unable to purchase that much how much I purchased in the year 2015. So, over the period of time, when the things rate is changing, that is what we call inflation. For example, few years back, few years back, when you take the cost of BMW car, it was around 15 lakhs. But today if you are taking, it's 35 lakhs to 50 lakhs. So, there is an increase in price, it's too much. That is what we call and the consistent. There is a no chance that the price will come down, but there is a full chances that is the price will go up. This is this is not at all good for economy. Who says that? Kerbin. Kerbin says that too much of money chasing too few goods. There are, we have the lots of money, but the chasing of goods is very limited, very low. The inflation can be segregated. The types of inflations are on the basis of speed, on the basis of demand, or other types. On the basis of speed, see this graph. Based on this graph, let us understand year and the percentage of price. In the total 8 years we have here, we have 80% of price. See here, creeping, walking, running and hyperinflation. Creeping inflation are those inflation here, what happened? The rise in the price will be very slow. And this is not at all bad for any economy. In economic cycle, this creeping inflation does not have any effect or does not have too much of effect. Why? Because the increase the in the price will be 0 to 3 percent from 0 to 3. For example, we had in 2015 and in 2020 we have for example, so we had uh, 1000 rupees for one product. In the year 2020 it will 1100. So very limited change in the price means that's the reason it does not have too much of segregation. Very limited change in the price. Very 
limited change in the price becomes the one of the factor and it's a slope 0 to 3 percent next walking inflation which means moderate it's not so fast it's not so slow it's a moderate where here the inflation rate will go little bit little bit fast it will go what is the percentage 3 to 9 percent from 3 to 9 for example we had 1000 in 2015 for 2020 it will be 1400 or 1500 so little change is there it's not too much it is not at all that it will not affect the economy it's not that it will fully affect the economy so this is the process of walking inflation when we have a running running inflation is the first stage we can say or the first steps we can say which affects the economy which is the starting place where the economic start affecting how here we start 10 to 20 percent so the price level increases 10 to 20 percent for example in one year when we had a 10 percent but in the next year we'll have 20 percent increase we have spent 1 lakh rupees in the next year we are spending 1 lakh 50 thousand rupees you can see that there is a large variety of increase in the price system this is what we call running it's running like anything next we have hyperinflation this is the place where all the economists of any country does not want to come Hyperinflation is the place where you cannot imagine in what way the price hike will go. You cannot, the consistency of price hike will be so high, 20 to 100 percent. Today it is 1 lakh rupees, tomorrow it will be 10 lakh rupees. Sudden hyper price, that was the hyper price. Keeping, creeping, very slow, it does not affect economy. Walking, little bit, it will affect little bit. Running, it's a starting place where the economic effects will be more. Hyperinflation, where the economic destructions take place. This is the on the basis of speed the inflation has been explained. Now, on the basis of demand, on the basis of demand and cost, the inflation can be segregated. On the basis of demand cost, we have total three methods. Demand full inflation. Demand full inflation means demand increases, supply decreases. For example, there is a demand of BMW car, but the supply of BMW car is less. I want 20 car in a year, but the supply is only 10 car. So what will happen? The price will automatically increase. Why? Because there is a 10 person who wants to buy the car. There is a 20 person who wants to buy a car, but there is a only 10 car is there. So now this 20 person is ready to pay any amount they want because the car is less. The person is more. So demand is more. Supply is less because it plays a vital role in increasing price. So demand full. Extra demand is there but the supply is less because of that inflation takes place. Because of that price hike is there. Second one. Cost push inflation. What is cost push inflation? Increase in raw material. So suddenly we are manufacturing certain parts. For example car we are taking as example. When we are taking car as example, the raw material of car, whether it's a fiber, whether it's a steel, whether it's an engine part, whether it's all those things, the raw material that is used is in increase in that. The cost will increase, the raw material cost will increase a lot and because of the increase in raw material, you have to pay the extra wages, you have to pay the extra uh, transport cost, you have to pay the extra advertisement cost, you have to pay the, all the cost will increase because there is an increase in raw material in the same way there will be an increase in payment. So, because there is an increase in raw material, there is an increase of payment to labor, wages, all this thing. Because of that what happened? Inflation rate. Third party, wages, spiral price. What is wages, price and price? Wages and price hike. So, when there is a lot of demand in the market, what will happen? We need a lot of person to walk. When there is a lot of person to walk, what happened? You want to give the lot of money so that the person will stay with you. They will not run from the exam. So when there is a high wages, what happened? Automatically the price gets high. So on the basis of demand and cost, what? Supply is more, supply is less, demand is more, price is higher. There is an extra increase in raw material, price is higher. And there is an extra payment, then price is higher. On the basis, on the other types, if you see, other types of inflation, we have total five aspects total six currency inflation what is currency inflation in any country the currency plays a vital role right how the currency the money of the currency money plays a vital role in any part of business why because the currency is a major aspect the currency is a major aspect in any business activity how because the currency plays a vital role the exchange of services can be done because of currency how we are done with the help of currency only, the exchange is taking place. How? Let's see. Let's see. 
currency currency plays a vital role in any part of business currency is needed currency is the most important aspect in any business life how because this currency inflation plays a vital role in every business kind of aspect the currency note so this currency note plays a vital role in what way it plays a vital role this currency inflation is playing a vital role in such a way that there is a sudden increase for example we take the example of 2016 what happened suddenly there was a surgical strike of money the circulation of 500000 rupees note was banned because of this reason also what happened inflation tax case credit inflation for example you have bought something or you have purchased something or you are have the credit worth that becomes the inflation for what happened you have bought something for 1 lakh rupees at the time it was 1 lakh but suddenly there is a price in the product what happened the credit rate system is like that that when there is a payment is made at what time when that time the payment is made the price of that time will be taken as a credit what understand simple see if you have bought a penny uh, things or any product you have purchased the purchase price is was 50000 but when you are paying it you bought it for credit but when you are paying it now the price is 70000 rupees you have to pay the 70000 so the credit rate increases for example bank is there so bank rate also increases so the increase in such rates becomes a reason for inflation defects induce inflation and the defects also plays a vital role what there is a necessary unwanted stuff there is a uh, extra burden on the inducement of inflation because of the inflation profit induce inflation and because of the chasing of the profit you want the extra profit you want to have the extra profit because of that what happen inflation takes place because of that you occur many mistake and problem occurs and the profit inducement takes place scarcity induce inflation and there is scarcity economics is all about study of scarcity so there is scarcity of labor scarcity of land scarcity of or capital because of that also inflation takes place tax induce inflation the heavy tax laid upon you the heavy tax burden given on you because of this also inflation takes place so inflation can be takes place with the help of three aspect it can be of the speed it can be of the cost and demand and it can be of other sources with the help of this inflation can be understood let's see how can you control the inflation now we know the what is inflation we know what are the various types of inflation now how can we control we can control with the help of three major aspect monetary measures physical measures fiscal method and other measures this theory this measurement has been given by the jm kennis and marshall they says that monetary measures for example the inducement in the government body so suddenly the government wants to sell something what happen you can purchase that and the inflation rate can be come down with the help of ccr cash reserve ratio you can control the inflation with the help of cdr cash deposit ratio you can help the inflation with the help of other major aspect commercial bank cooperative bank with the help of them you can control the monetary inflation monetary inflation means with the help of money related aspect all the nationalized bank private bank cooperative bank commercial bank come together for the purpose of solving the inflation issue what is inflation issue there is a high in price how can we solve the problem that we got because with the help of ccr with the help of cr with the help of hr allowances all this way we can solve the monetary issues what is fiscal measures fiscal measures are those measures which are taking place or which are discussed in a such a way that the proper utilization of resource whatever they have whether there is a demand whether there is a supply where there is a resource or whether there is scarcity all those study is taking place and they are trying to solve the inflation they are trying to solve the problem of finance with the help of physical method which means all the necessary study will then and, and then the inflation will be reduced other sources in the other sources with the help of two major aspect short term measures long term measures for the short term period for example there is a high in price in vegetable product onion or tomato this that there is a sudden high it's not at all going down so we'll have a certain plan the short term plan so for 6 month or 1 year let's have a one plan so that this period will try to make the in uh, inflation the inflation rate will try to remove it will try to reduce the inflation rate long term for the business aspect for any product any material any kind of aspect we are going so short term for very small time long term for very long time the business aspect related aspect when we try to solve the inflation so in the simple way inflation is what a study of price hike over a period of time how you can control with the help of various educational uh, properties with the help of very government inducement 
you can solve the measurement of inflation. In future class, we will see the deflation aspects. Dear student, dear subscribers, you can subscribe our YouTube official channel, GK Gen Schools, and like the video, subscribe and uh, share the video, and do subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the latest videos in economics, commerce, accounts, and all other subjects. Thank you.